I'm Sharon Howell with Memory Savers, and we are interviewing various people around campus about the Vital Life community, wellness community, and today we are talking with Diane. Welcome, Diane. Thank you. How has the Vital Life community influenced your personal wellness choices? Um, for several years, I always had the thought of wanting to to do better with my wellness but you know how things get in your way you let other things take over well now St. Leonard has really focused on it and he gave us so many opportunities and choices that are out there at our grasp and um, Deborah Stewart has helped me in many ways to learn how to do exercises that doesn't hurt myself and because I thought I couldn't do these exercises before, and I can. It's so. just learning how to do them for you. Um, we have so many dietitians on the campus now that we're learning to eat better, certain things that you know work better for us. The wellness center that just got built here on campus. Um, and we also have, in the main building also, places to go to work out and it's absolutely free to the residents here um, in the main building and also the employees. Um, I also have found other outlets by things of choices that are out. I've been doing gardening which I never thought I would do before and I have learned to do miniature boxes and you can change them season to season and when you're at home it's not that you can't you know if it's winter to go out and do those things because you can do them inside outside wherever you're at and when you look at it it makes you feel good um, uh, so that's where I'm at in my wellness so far but there's so many more things that's coming up and about that I'm sure I'll be getting into more maybe maybe I'll even try the water aerobics coming soon so so it's made a much big difference in my life yeah yes mm -hmm. yes uh, do you think addressing more than one dimension of wellness at a time is helpful with working towards your goals yeah I do because you're not focusing on one and if one is like slowing you down or you're just not getting it like I said you know I'm doing a little uh, exercising, I'm doing, look, learning how to eat better, learning how different foods interact with um, the different foods, which is a big thing in itself, um, and with the gardening and things. So yeah, I think you can do more than one. That's good. Uh, what is your opinion concerning all of the resident and staff teams that are active on campus? I love it because, you know, um, house you know, we have housekeeping, we have nursing, and each and every one of us think and do different things, and we all get excited when we see each other doing it, you know. So, and that lets us interact with them, and them interact us, with us, and we get to know each other better. Sounds like you kind of inspire each other, too. I think so. Hmm. Well, socialization as our prime... <laughs> <laughs> as our primary focus and one that supports the other dimensions of wellness, where do you see St. Leonard's progress with the Vital Life community in the next five years? I see it just growing and getting better, um, not with just the employees, but with the residents, um, because you hear them talk about what they've done and uh, when, when they do uh, so many of the classes we have here, you know, the belly dancing, the Tai Chi, I think it's Tai Chi or the karate, and that inspires me. When you see a 95-year-old doing belly dancing, you know, you're like, they can do it, I can do it. And, and it's tough. It's not that it's any easier for them, it's tough. And uh, I'm excited to learn and to do some more things myself. That so really I good. think it's going to go a long way. It's, yes, it would be inspiring to have see somebody that age doing that. It is. It's a little hard to say, I can't do it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the line dancing we do here, it's like, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's great. Anything else you'd like to contribute? 
Um, I just think St. Leonard is a wonderful place, and uh, it just uh, not only for a place to make a paycheck and to you know nurture yourself that way, but they truly care, and I've found that in many levels of my life. My husband was here and he worked prior to me and he got sick and had to leave and that's when St. Leonard's had called me and asked me did I want to come here because Rick would be leaving and I always felt very blessed and I always will. So. Beautiful.